Sugar Plum, I have a very important and quick update for you again. Yes, we are on fire. Pulse Chain News. So there is a clogging of the bridge. We can call this event the cloggening. So some members are reporting that the Pulse Chain bridge has stalled, but they've identified the issue. So the money coming into Pulse Chain totals about like 18 to 19 million so far, and it's all clogged. There's only a couple of thousand dollars 50k, 100k, they were the first batch to get in and then everything clogged. So the price action and liquidity is the clogging. As we can all tell, the price is a poop, but the issue is being fixed immediately by the team and then the money flows in. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there's a net buy and they come in and they get those valuable coins. There isn't that much available. So I know a lot of you looking at the prices thinking, oh, we should have not sacrificed. I, I know, I, I know that feeling, okay, this... Life is not meant to be fair, all right? This is why, now you know why I'm a bit crazy and now you know why I have a peanut brain. You can't possibly go through this and be a rational, normal person. You do all your buttons up. You walk around with your zipper up. Not going to happen, okay? Pulse, Pulsex, and Hex is still low. So I have this more juicy information for you to, know, to look at. So Pulse is just on the sacrifice price, but this is Pulsex. Okay, because most people are in Pulse X. I've got both, but look at this. So there are people actually taking a loss. So when I first made these posts, there were people, they had the little water pistols out. They're here to squirt everyone. They said, no, no liquidity. Habib, Habib, okay. I know there's not millions of dollars of liquidity, but can you please, I'm going to ask for permission for you to please squint your eyes. Thank you very much. You will now squint your eyes, and I'm now going to just show you. Okay, you see this big fat arrow, red arrow? There are people taking $4,000 losses, all right? Now, I know $4,000 isn't all the money in the world, but it's still money. Like, they're, they're taking $4,000, $5,000 losses. There is enough liquidity for these little turtles, these little people to exit out. So I have this chart here. You can see this is the truth, okay? This is where the brag type of chart will begin. This is Pulsex, okay? Yes, we are all the way up here. Don't worry, it's just to scare you. This is a linear chart. Don't worry, you put on log chart, looks a bit better. Yes, it's true. Right now, if you were to paper hand, you're down minus 83%. Okay, so look, I just, I like, I want to toughen you up. You've got to be a bit strong. Do you think I made it to where I am by watching everything go up only? No, all right? You need diamond hands. Diamond hands, you can't buy them. Diamond hands, you can't fake them. You need to forge them. This is how they get forged. Now you know why I'm an absolute peanut brain. There's nothing in this skull. This is what you actually got to sit through. If you want the gains, you got to sit through this. People panic. That's it. And panic means no liquidity and they will sell something just because they hate it. I hope you're starting to have an appreciation for this contrarian view I have. But if you want the gains, this is what you got to do, right? Like if you want to step in the ring, you're going to hit in the face, okay? You might get kicked in the ovaries and squashed in the nuts. That's it. So yes, even though liquidity is low, there are people taking, they're losing everything. They're losing. So don't forget, like you see this person taking a $4,000 loss. Don't forget, they put in 20K. So yes, they sacrificed 20K. They thought they were going to get a 10x to 200k, but now they're selling for 5k. I want you to think about this deviation, okay? So they put in, I'm going to write this down for you, just so you can appreciate this. They had 20k. They probably went around, they're probably messaging me. Hey, do you think this can do a 10x, one more than a 9x, and one less than a 11x? And I said, yes. Yes, I do. Sir, madam, whatever you are, think. I think we can do a 10x to 200 and this person's dreaming about 200, dreaming and dreaming, rolling around in bed, eating jelly beans as you do on Sunday mornings, right in bed. Then they see this 83% down. So 83% down, now this person's like, you know what, I'm out for 4K, see you later, I'm done. This is exactly what's happened. I'm not making any of these numbers up. They put in $20,000. They were dreaming of $200,000. They thought they're going to be able to eat jelly beans in their bed every Sunday of the year. Now they're like, I'm done. I just can't, I can't take it anymore, okay? So when I see this, I don't want to be sympathetic to them. That gets me and you nowhere. You are my baby doll. I'm here to protect you as a guardian angel, your friend. I want you to make it. You need to understand when these people do the wrong thing, I am not here to be their friend. They have left the game. They're gone. Right? You have to look at them 
You can't look at them and say, oh, well, golly gee, it could have happened to anyone. No, you have to say you're a doo-doo face. That's right, I said it. Yeah, you might think that's very offensive. You have to look at them and say, you are a doo-doo face. You are weak. You got a hunched back. You're wearing crumpled slippers, drinking orange juice. It's room temperature. And it's half full. You've been sitting on it all day. So you have to look at this. If you identify these people as weak and doo-doo heads, hopefully you won't stray to the same path. That's the only way you're going to make it. You're not going to make it by fluking this. I promise you this. You can feel it right now. So when I put these charts, it's not for like FUD or like anything. You need to see it, man. You need to see this. Like this is like, yes, we're down this much. Accept it and swallow it. If you're going to make it, you're going to have to sit through this. That's it. <laughs> do you think Do you think there's people in the early Bitcoin days, do you think it just went up only? No, it didn't. It looks like that on the chart. I can go show you the linear charts of Bitcoin. There were so many 70% down, 80% down, 90% down. All these scams, all these bans. Every time it goes up, another 60%, another 70%. So many beatings. That's why I tell you, don't watch the chart, watch the calendar. But, of course, we're all addicts here. We're definitely watching the chart anyway. But I'm here to hold your hand. So, revisiting a bit of a poll here. So, Mr. B Roots, right? So, look at this. He took, he took this poll right before the bridge launch. Why don't you look at this? So, this poll was taken before the Pulse Chain bridge launched. With this limited liquidity so far, many are wondering. Polls, Pulse X Hex on Pulse Chain, where are they going to be in two weeks? Yeah, I'm wondering too. Are we going to pump? Is the bridge going to get fixed? It will get fixed. There will be money coming in. Okay. So, I'm asking you, what do you think? But even here, people had a bit of tempered expectations. This is PLS. Most people were expecting 5x or less from the sacrifice price. So, hmm, uh, it's just funny that this number, nobody expects a above a 25x. It'd be funny if someone actually comes and does something, but I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Look around to your left and right. I just showed you somebody paper handing. Sacrifice 20k, happy to take a 4k loss, okay? So, just to remind you, is it, well, i got to show you this. I did... I've done the hard work and the research for you. I've done it here for you. I'm giving it to you for free. I could go make these Patreons. I can go make these four or $5,000 clubs. I can go do that and I can get a small group of people and I can kill it. But I am here to help the downtrodden of society. I think that's my role here. I think you need me around because if I'm not here, you're going to be fed to the wolves. So I've done this hard work for you. So you, everyone's going to be losing their mind. I understand. Look at this. Okay. The first day for Hex Adoption Amplifier went down 98%. And it's day one Uniswap listing dropped 80%. So it took four months to clear the zone. Okay. I have this chart here for you. I go out of my way to put this. I don't get paid for Twitter. I don't get paid for anything. Nothing. I want your friendship. Like, subscribe, bell button, or you got to do yourself a favor. you got to tell mom and dad that you love them as much as you can. They're not going to be here forever. Look at this. It took four months to clear the zone. So this flag is where the hex adoption amplifier was. I wasn't even around. I went out of my way to get this price and mark it here permanently, 0.033. So yes, if you go down here, it's minus 98%, and then it goes up and does that 10,000x. Okay, so whatever you want to say, you might say, hey, I don't really think that's a 10,000x. Well, welcome aboard. That's why I don't measure from down here. Okay, I measure from day one Uniswap listing. So... This is why I'm telling you with PulseX, from this low here, if you go back down, from PulseX, from the chart I've shown you, if you go back to that very, very low, um, I'll get the chart up now, right here, okay? So I have it right here, just to let you know, I've done a previous video from this. You're going to see this a lot, don't think it's going to go away, you're going to have to see this, okay? Do you see where this is, the big circle? You see this little starting price? Ricardo himself, Ricardo Corazon, he's going to get the chart. He's going to put it on a log. He's going to start his measurement from down here. If you've noticed, I have already my measurement down here. I've got this permanently saved, this chart. Because when it gets back to day one sacrifice, it's up 14x. Yes, you might say, hey, man, it was only like thirty to $50,000 the first that could sweep there. Doesn't matter. Now you understand why. I'm glad you understand. You can now see why me. Your friend Somi does not like measuring this hex from 10,000x at the bottom. I don't like measuring that. Right? That's like saying, hey, give me your car for $10. And I'll say, oh, wow, look at the return. Like, you know, if I got a minus 99.99% off, this car traded at ne next to nothing. I don't like doing these imaginary, very low, very thin, etc. Like, we're in for two years. I don't like measuring it like that. That's why I'm telling you. When it does a 71x, just to repeat to you, I'm going to remember this number. 
when our day one sacrifice does a 71x, so if the price goes to zero point, it's 007, okay, when it gets there, we are 1000x from the low. So it's all on you. Do you want to hold that? Because if you don't, if you don't take some profit out up there and it drops, what are you going to be thinking? What are your friends going to be saying? They're going to be like, dude, you in a coin that went up a thousand X, you didn't even get anything out. Okay. And yes, guess what? I hope, I hope it goes 200 X, right? I hope it does instead of our 70 X. I hope it does another triple just to screw everyone who wants to be a bear. I really do. But you know, at the end of the day, what the right thing to do is that's why I'm telling you, you get aggressive now. Unfortunately, yeah, it's true. Okay, I'll say it to your face. Your $1,000 was not enough. How many times did I tell you guys? I got many DMs trying to get back to all of you. I love you all, your baby doll, your pumpkins, your chocolate muffins. Yes, I'm telling, I'm telling you now, your 500 bucks, not enough. Your $1,000, not enough. Your 2K, not enough either. Try to pump it up, five, 10 grand, please. Each, try as much as you can. Yes, go aggressive. I don't care if you lose everything. And I don't care if I lose anything either because where else are we going to get this chance? You get to click buttons on the internet, asymmetric upside, bleeding edge technology, blockchain come and changes the world. We have this investment thesis and everyone's a paper hand in front of us with high volatility. Like it's just tick, 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 get to hit it out of the park. It's literally, this is my domain. Okay, we're not going to get this again. This is getting harder over time. Okay, so we're here to play the game. Yes, 70X is a lot of money. Newsflash, it is a shitload of money, okay? And I hate to use the L word, load. Yes, it's a lot of money. Even 10X is a lot of money. So you've got to get aggressive. You get the point now. So the liquidity is still low. A lot of people are also saying, hey, don't count it. Look, I'll tell you something, all right? Richard Hart, he's going to use this chart, okay? They're all going to use this chart. This is going to be the bragging chart. So if they're going to measure from here, during this time, and we are here, we're like, oh, are you going to not count it? I want to ask you, are you not going to count it? How are you going to feel about yourself when everybody's saying this thing's up a 1,000x and you're like, oh, crap, you know, my portfolio's up 300k, I want another 3x to a million, but my friend saw me two and a half years ago, right, because you'd be talking to yourself in 2025, he said, damn, am I going to be in that psychological round number trap? <laughs> now, this is very unrealistic. You're going to be drinking the sweet waters of euphoria. I give you like a less than 1% chance you'll even be able to think straight. But that's exactly what it is. You want to know the answer? That's the truth. That's the actual truth. That's why you got to prepare for these ahead of time. The liquidity is low, but it's not like it's super, super thin. Okay. So $30,000 sweeps hex on pulse chain. So P hex, it sweeps it back to parity with E hex. Okay. $30,000. So that's not zero. And there are people taking losses. So hopefully this liquidity comes in and people get to like throw them, throw, um, throw some money around and we get to see more fair value prices because this point, I know everybody, there are people taking losses, man. It's not like it's nothing. There are people taking, they sacrificed 5, 10, 20K. They're taking losses, you know? So a lot of people are confused. They're saying, oh, it's only a $2,000 sell. No, you got to multiply by that by five. That person put in $10,000 because <laughs> they're down 80%. So here I have influencers saying, you know, is, did this altcoin scam me, etc." It was a bit of clickbait, of course. It had nothing to do with it. So you didn't get scammed with Pulse Chain. I've got to reiterate to you. Other scam altcoins and VC projects have listings ready to go because they're ready to dump on retail immediately. I've seen all of them. They get Bybit. They get Binance. They get OKEx. They're ready to list the perps. They're ready to go on the marketing channels. Everything gets set in peace. They have their scum influencers who come and throw everything on YouTube and Twitter. They get the insider allocations. They are ready to dump straight away. And you know what they do as well because they're scum? They go to non-English speaking native countries because they don't hang around our social areas. And so they are more in the dark and they will go firm and buy stuff. It's true. Okay. Pulse Chain didn't have that. Decentralized grassroots takes a bit more time, but you got something nice when you get to the end of the road. So this community project will take more time and the bridge is up for less than 24 hours. We just got to remember that. So none of these things are going to even be remembered by you in three or six or nine months. You're not even going to care, whatever it is. So we wanted the Pulse Chain launch. Here it is, friends. Here it is. So don't forget this, okay? It took four months for, for Hex to clear that zone, and I don't have it here as well, but just to repeat to you, okay, to continue my final message here, the Ethereum ICO, though, the true unicorn, never put anyone offside from 31 cents. 
There was one exchange, Poloniex. Someone did a fat finger. It wicked to 14 cents, come back to 31 cents. I won't even count it. There were other exchanges, etc. Right? So it never really did do that. It was, uh, but it's a unicorn. Okay, yeah, I want that. Wouldn't that be amazing if we never, ever, ever went on offside? That would be fantastic. But hey, I think there's been enough volume now for you to see. We are offside. Get used to it. Swallow it. This is how it is. I don't want to go and rub it in anyone's faces because, hey, we own the bags too. But if you go through my comments and all the YouTube videos, you get very passionate, energized people saying this will never go below day one sacrifice. They were wrong. They were saying it should open up at 10x. They were wrong. Many, many, many things wrong, wrong, wrong. We are not the exception, friends. No one is the exception. You're dealing with human emotions and money. It's the same every time. It's absolutely unequivocally important that you realize we're in a depression zone. There's going to be these hiccups, etc. And the polar opposite will come. I'm going to try and be there every step of the way, but nobody is immune. Nobody. I don't care what you think Pulse X's buy and burn is. I don't care what you think Pulse Chain is. Cheaper gas, 20%. I don't care. It's not about the code. It's about the community. And guess what? The community is made out of people and people have emotions. And we're dealing with labor units of invested money and capital that they're sloshing around. So it's going to be the same thing right now. You can't tell me for one second that this person, paper handing, cares a damn about the code. The person selling down minus 80%, don't care. Code 20% faster, don't care. Cheaper gas, don't care. Yield farm, don't care. Don't care about anything. The pain. That's it. They said, whoa, I've been let down for Held for two years, I'm down an 83%. I'm out. I can't take it. I've seen enough people in my life. Some people just don't like winning. It makes them uncomfortable. And they just can't seem to climb over the hurdle. But you don't actually have to really do anything, friends. That's why I'm leaving you with this message. You really do have to forge your hands right now. If you don't forge them now, no one's going to forge them for you. You can't be wearing those soft, little, supple mittens. We've got to put on the big boy gloves. Rough. That's how we like it. And sandpaper too. Tell mum and dad that you love them. Like, subscribe, bell button, all friends. We'll catch you soon.